Hello, the purpose of this video is to show you how to build a simple circuit using PCB Express. We're going to be making an LM386 amplifier as you see on the left here. There's a few things you could change in the interface. If you want to go to view options, you could change the display units and the colors, but I'm going to leave these as they are. To place a trace over there, left click and drag. and enter and for the bottom left click drag and enter so the top's going to be my positive the bottom's going to be my ground to inform other people of that we can change the size of the text we're going to put in so I'm going to put a positive there and I'm going to put a negative there so now we know what's positive and what's negative. Um, first thing I'm going to look at, this triangle here, that's an LM386 amplifier. It's got eight pins. To find the actual socket to fit it in, we go to Component Manager, and we scroll down, and you'll see, when you get there, you'll see a few options. And the one we're going to use is Dip 8 Pin, there. And drag that centrally. Zoom in. I always place pads it makes it easier to drill through and gives you something to solder to and the, so to do that you get the pads from over here and you, you've got some various size options again in the drop down box but I'm going to use the one that it's defaulted to and I place a pad on each one of these just makes the whole operation a little bit easier you zoom in just to make sure you don't get any short circuits and it just makes it a little simpler okay zoom out again and we, what we're going to do, we're going to deal with each component at a time. On the far left here we've got what's called a potentiometer. We can use the potentiometers in PCB Express but in practice what will happen is you'll drill holes into the PCB and you'll take wires away to a potentiometer which will be housed in the cabinet or whatever else you house your amplifier in. But just to show you how it's done, component manager, scroll down or type in P scroll down a bit further and you've got some options and the option I'm going to use is this one here I'm just going to place it there now the this pad here represents the center of the potentiometer and the other two are the signal and the ground uh, once again we're going to place some pads in so zoom in place a pad and a pad and a pad like so now we're going to take a trace and we can see that the potentiometer middle pin should go to pin 3 of the, where the amplifier is going to be. Amplifier pins are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Anti-clockwise always. With any of these particular um, ICs they always number 1 through to whatever the top pin is called and they always go anti-clockwise. We're going to get our trace and we're going to go from there to there so there we are that's pin 3 connected we also notice that pin 2 and pin 4 go to ground the easiest way to do this is simply to take 4 connect it to 2 like so and then take that down to ground like so and we also notice that the potentiometer itself has one ground and one signal in well the easiest way to deal with this is simply to take one of the potentiometer pins to pin 2 you could do it to pin 4 but actually pin 2 is much easier zoom out again the other potentiometer pin is going to be the signal I'm going to make the trace a little bit larger for this. And the signal is going to come in there. And I'm going to put a bigger pad as well. And if I had time I'd also write signal so that you and anyone else would know exactly what's supposed to be going in there. But this is just a real quick demonstration just to get through it. Next thing we see that pin 6 goes to power. 
so we come back to our trace back to a 1.27 mil trace and we take pin 6 zoom in a bit if you need to I need to pin 6 is going to go up to power like so zoom in again now we see that there's a capacitor that goes between pins 1 and pin 8 this capacitor is used to set the gain to 200 so if you want to have a nice line amplifier it actually needs to be there we get capacitors from the component manager again type in C scroll down to radial lead spacing 0.1 of an inch insert it in if it's grey it means you can grab it if it's grey it also means you can rotate it you'll see that we've got a positive here and a positive there this is an electrolytic capacitor if you connect it the wrong way around it will explode which is not very funny right so you can rotate it using this command here now it's rotated in the right direction I can well the first thing I want to do I need it again so I'm going to right click copy and I'm going to paste the copy somewhere else for using later but first things first once again we're going to use a pad go back to our trace and we connect our capacitor up like so yeah not very neat sorry about that but as I said it's going to be quick um, then we see from pin 5 here it goes out to a capacitor and then it's eventually going to go to a speaker zoom in again and you should get the idea that it's really just a case of repeating stuff you've already done place the pads uh, we come out here there's pin 5 and what I'm going to do I'm going to take that and I'm going to put another pad on the end and that's that will be where the speaker is for convention's sake I'm going to use the same as the signal in I'm going to take a trace from ground I'm going to place a pad on that as well and I expect I will also put the text in there so we'll put speaker SPKR and we'll put that something like there so you know that's the speaker there is also these components here which help to improve the frequency response of the amplifier you should know actually how to put those in yourself by now it's just a case of going to the component manager selecting for example resistor and the various lead spacing resistor and then connecting the circuit up I hope this has helped you to understand a little bit about PCB Express it's a very simple program to use and you'll find that within 10 or 15 minutes of using it that uh, that it becomes second nature there are one or two quirks that, that you'll work out for yourself but uh, I suggest you just get in and try building the circuits okay goodbye good luck and uh, see you in the next video